The supernatural genre is a pretty expansive subgenre of horror, where its movies can be scary, thrilling, and even thought-provoking. It can be defined by anything beyond scientific understanding that's within the realms of nature, such as ghosts or psychic encounters. As recent filmmakers have blurred the gap between supernatural thrillers and horrors, I've decided to focus on movies that rely a little more on held suspense of events rather than momentary shock. Mind you, that doesn't mean that my selections for this week will be lacking any shocking or horror moments, but if you want to see something a little more like that, I've already created a horror version of this video. And for those of you new to this channel, I try to avoid picking super obvious movies, so films like The Sixth Sense or the others won't be making an appearance. Director Nakata Hideo's mystery horror, Ringo. After the mysterious death of her cousin Tomoko, a reporter and her ex-husband investigate a videotape that's linked to her cousin's death. Ignoring the many superstitious rumors about the tape's ability to kill whoever watches it within a week, Tomoko now finds that she has a very tight deadline to solve this deadly mystery. Originally I was going to put Ringu in my horror video selection, but I just found it to be more of a mystery thriller than a standard horror. This is one of those movies that proves that a film can be terrifying without jump scares, where its moments of horror can still arrive when least expected. Ringu, while slow paced, still remains eerie throughout, drawing the very best from Japanese folklore to create a creepy and thought-provoking thriller that's definitely worth watching. Director David Cronenberg's fantasy thriller, The Dead Zone. Johnny Smith is just a regular guy, where everything in his life is going well for him. He's a teacher at a local school and has a fiancé that he adores. However, that abruptly changes after a near-fatal car accident that leaves David in a coma. Awakening some time later, David discovers that he has psychic detective abilities and that his life will never be the same again. As an effective clairvoyant thriller, The Dead Zone is a creepy and engaging film. It's well directed, acted and executed, but that's expected from a David Cronenberg film based on a Stephen King novel starring Christopher Walken. The ice is gonna break! His pacing story does feel a little choppy in places, but that doesn't take away from the overall experience. If you're a fan of Cronenberg or like psychic thrillers in general, try The Dead Zone out. Director Christopher Smith's fantasy mystery, Triangle. Follows a young woman called Jess who's invited to sail on a yacht with a group of her friends. Encountering a freak storm, their boat is capsized, leaving them adrift. But fortunately for them, a mysterious cruise ship appears and they decide to take refuge aboard. However, they quickly realize that perhaps they were better off on the yacht. Refreshingly mind-bending and definitely different, Triangle has a pretty innovative and complex premise that if you just went by the first act alone, would think it was like every other recently made teen horror. However, as the movie becomes more and more convoluted, its complexity goes in tandem with its number of plot holes, and some of the main characters' motives don't quite add up, leaving you with a decent but flawed thriller that will keep you thinking. Director Honjin Na's horror thriller, The Wailing. Set in a quiet rural village in Korea, a new nasty sickness has started to spread around concurrently with the arrival of a mysterious stranger. When locals abruptly start killing each other off for no apparent reason, suspicion turns to panic for a policeman who must try and solve the mystery behind this illness after his daughter suddenly becomes ill. As an atmospheric and well-constructed mystery, The Wailing delivers on both suspense and originality. However, at 156 minutes in length, for a thriller it does feel a little too long, where you could easily shave 30 minutes off without affecting the overall plot. If you're a fan of Korean films, or if you're like me, a guy who finds it funny to watch grown men cry a lot, then check The Wailing out. Director David Kep's mystery thriller, Stir of Echoes. Tom Witzke is a fairly typical working class guy who lives with his wife Maggie and son Jake. One night at a party, Tom challenges his sister-in-law to hypnotize him. Up to the challenge, she implants him with a post-hypnotic suggestion to be more open-minded. But the results aren't quite what Tom was expecting. Released just after The Sixth Sense, I kind of feel sorry for Stir of Echoes, because while I think most will agree that it's the inferior of the two films, that doesn't necessarily make it a bad movie. It's a well-made solid thriller that has great performances from Kevin Bacon and the supporting cast. Okay, its plot is kind of formulaic and Kevin's character does get slightly irritating towards the end, but it's still worth watching if you like family-based thrillers that are a bit predictable and cheesy in places. 
director Roman Pulaski's horror drama, Rosemary's Baby. When Rosemary and her husband move into an old New York City apartment, they find that they are surrounded by peculiar elderly neighbors. After her husband abruptly starts spending all his free time with their new residence, Rosemary becomes mysteriously pregnant. Cut off from the world and feeling helpless, Rosemary slowly becomes increasingly paranoid over the safety of her unborn child. Combining an atmospheric score with a near-perfect build-up in tension, Rosemary's Baby really lives up to its reputation as an engaging and engrossing mystery. While it has some very believable performances, Rosemary's Baby does have its weaknesses, such as a few patches of cheesy dialogue. It can be! But besides from that, it holds up very well by today's standards and is a must-see movie. Director Dario Argento's fantasy mystery, Phenomena follows Jennifer Carvino, an insect-loving girl who has unusual special abilities. Just after starting at a new academy for girls, one of her new classmates is murdered. Motivated to find her friend's killer, Jennifer discovers that her unusual abilities might help her solve a string of murders. While I'm a fan of Dario Argento's earlier work, Phenomena is not what I would call a good movie. In fact, it's quite the opposite, but I just had to recommend it as it's so bad it's good. With a pre-labyrinth Jennifer Connelly and one of the most horrendously hilarious musical scores, <laughs> Phenomena has some very obvious strengths and glaring weaknesses. However, that doesn't stop it from being a very enjoyable experience. I mean, there is a fairly high possibility that you might actually enjoy this as a serious horror thriller, but for me, I just found it way too funny. Hey, if you're new here to Channel Hyperdrive, then make sure you subscribe and hit that notify button to get updates for my next video release. And to my subscribers and patrons, as always, thanks for liking, commenting, and supporting this channel.